Hey everyone, welcome to the video. If you clicked on this one, chances are you're a podcaster and you're looking for an easy way to edit your episodes together in ideally a free software. And that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna show you how you can set up a super easy workflow right on GarageBand, right on your computer, it comes for free, so that you can edit your episodes together very quickly and efficiently with each and every episode. I've been running my show for a little over two years now and I've edited every single one of my episodes and I've done so using this exact setup right here. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step exactly how you can set this up for yourself and save yourself some time moving forward and make the process a lot easier and more enjoyable. So let's get right into it and show you how. Let's do it. For anyone coming across the channel for the first time, my name is Ben. I make all kinds of videos on podcasting. So if you're looking to level up your game, take your show to the next level, be sure to subscribe. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through literally everything that you need to do. So we're gonna hop into my computer so I can show you step by step. Okay, so we are now into my computer. And again, this is a GarageBand tutorial. So obviously I'm using a Mac and we're gonna walk you through every little step here. So what I would first recommend when you are gonna be editing your podcast is to create a folder on your desktop where you're gonna store all the different audio files that you're gonna be using in your episode. So for example, there's gonna be some things that are, you're gonna be using with every single episode, like your intro, your outro, maybe you have an audio tag, maybe you use specific music within your show, whatever you're gonna be using on a recurring basis, you wanna make sure you have it in a dedicated place, easy to find all the time. So what we're gonna do, I've already done this completely, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So a new folder, we're gonna call this podcast video because I've already done this video. And again, we're just gonna store this on our desktop for easy use and we're gonna open it up. And then there's a few more folders we're gonna make here. We're going to make recorded interviews. So whenever you finish an interview or you finish an episode, maybe you do a solo show, once you've done that, instead of risking losing the file, put it directly into the recorded interviews and allow that to be the next step in your workflow. So we have that right here. And then another thing that we're gonna make is our finished episodes. So this is where you're going to put the audio file for the very finished product. And again, the same sort of principle applies here. We're just trying to have a dedicated place for it to make sure that nothing goes through the cracks. The other things that you're gonna be putting within this folder is those audio elements that I talked about earlier, the things you're gonna be using every single time. So your intro, outro, audio tag, whatever you're gonna be using consistently, music, whatever, you don't wanna have that here for easy use. So this is all the stuff that you're gonna do and that you can do before you even get into GarageBand. And then we're gonna dive into GarageBand. So we've set all that up for us. The next thing we're gonna do is open up a voice project within GarageBand, and it's gonna give you all of these right here. I typically like just, just X them all out. You can just do that by hitting delete on your keyboard. Once you get all the way down there, it's gonna prompt you to select type of track. We're gonna click an audio track using a microphone. So we're gonna click create. And what we're gonna do within this working document is create a specific track for every piece of audio that we're gonna be using within our episodes. So for me, the first thing that I have is my intro. So that's me track one. The next thing that I have there is I call it, I label it my intro voice. So I have a pre-recorded intro that was made and I love the sound of it, but it doesn't talk about specifically what the episode's gonna be about. So I'd like to give a little bit of a teaser and speak to that myself in just after the intro. So I label this track intro voice. This is gonna be something that's gonna be recorded by myself. And then right before we jump into the actual content, I also have an audio tag. So I make a dedicated track for that audio tag, okay. And then the next track here is going to be interview track one. And then, as you may have guessed, interview, interview track two. So remember, keep in mind, I'm putting this together and using specific tracks that are completely specific to my show. So if you are a solo podcaster, it's only one interview track or one audio track for the actual content, you might just need one here. Because if it's just you, and if there's more of you, if there's three, you might add another one here. But this is again, just a specific, a specific example to my show. Be sure to tailor this to your show and what you use. And then the final track here 
is just my outro. Okay, so pretty simple there. We've now set up a dedicated spot for everything. One more thing I like to do before we throw anything into this working document is I like to change this from beats and project over to time. No specific real reason. I just think about it far more in time in terms of podcasting. So I just like to have that there as an easy reference point. So now that we have this all set up, this is our working document. The next thing that we're going to do is put in those different audio files that we had said that are consistent with every single episode. So I've already done this before. So mine is called podcast stuff. That's one that I use. So we're going to go in and throw everything in there specific to my show. So my intro, we're going to throw that in the intro part right here. That's going to save there. The next thing that we're going to do is my outro. We're going to drag that, put it in the outro. It's there. And then the other consistent thing that I have with every single episode is my audio tag. And for anybody who's unaware, an audio tag is just essentially like an audio logo. So it's something that's very commonly used. It's just to create that consistent brand feel through the audio perspective. So the best audio tag that I can think to mention that most people have heard of is Netflix. So when you hear that, da -da, that's Netflix's audio tag. So I have one of those. Uh, Gary Vee was actually the inspiration for me creating an audio tag. By no means a necessity, but something I use on every single episode. So we're gonna throw that in there in the audio tag track that we had built earlier. Okay, so now that we have all this here, this is now going to be our consistent working document once you've put in every consistent piece of audio. So then what you're gonna do is save this and we're gonna save it in the fo folder that we made earlier. So for the sake of this video, I said podcast video. So that's where we're gonna put this and we're gonna call this working podcast edit or whatever you wanna term this. And then we're gonna save that. So that what this has now done is save this how we've set it up for ourselves. So every time we wanna go in and input the actual interview and the other portions that we have to actually record ourselves, it's very easy to do so. We can just kind of plug and play from there. So I'm gonna actually walk you through exactly how I would finish this process. So for, this is, for the sake of time here, I'm not gonna actually record my voice intro just to save ourselves some time. So we'll just go the intro and then my audio tag. And then the next piece here would be to actually include the interview tracks for this specific episode. So a re an upcoming episode that I have is with Katie Steckley, another YouTuber who creates tons of great content. So I'm gonna put her interview tracks, which I've already downloaded off of Zencaster, and we're gonna put that into interview one. It's converting it. And then interview two. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that they're in line with each other and at the right place. So right after the audio tag. And then the last piece that I would do to edit this is just command C. We're going to copy the outro. We're going to go to the end of the conversation and then just include it in the end of the conversation. And then boom, you've got everything right here. So then this is, it's literally that simple. You've now put everything that you need to do there. The final pieces that I would actually do with this would just be to record an intro, uh, the voice intro or a voice outro. That's something that I also sometimes include. So I might include that as well. I'll add one more here. So we'll just do voice outro. It's the same sort of thing, just kind of like a wrap up on the episode. Not necessary. I don't even do it on every single episode, but for the sake of this, I'll show you how to do it. So voice outro. So we would have everything we need right here. What I will say is that I would recommend going through and listening to the episode to ensure that the audio tracks from the interview are lined up and that everything sounds good. These little things right here, when you're playing, you see these level gauges right here. When you're playing audio, see, see I was playing something, the audio levels are gonna go up. Ideally, you want it to stay within the green at the most, you want it to get to levels of yellow. When it gets into the reds, that's when it, the, the sound's gonna get distorted and it's gonna sound bad. Why you're doing it like this and why you set everything up as its own file, as its own track, sorry, is that you have the flexibility to play around with it and, and adjust different things to make sure that it sounds 
as uniform as possible. So it's a consistent listening experience for your listener. So this is right here. So let's say that I've put everything into here for the episode. And then when you're done and you want to take this to the next step, we're going to share, we're going to export song to disc. And then from here, we're going to go into our folder that we made podcast folder and then go into finished episodes because that's what where we store these. And this is Katie Steckley's episode. I hope I'm kind of, I think I'm spelling her name correctly. And then I always export it in at least high quality. You can also do highest quality. And then you can also do it in these different audio file types and then export. What this now does, it's going to export everything that was in here into that file as its own finished product, which you can then upload to your host. I use Buzzsprout and then you're good to go. That episode is finished. So then when you, when you want to go to future episodes, all you have to, to edit them, all you have to do is go open up that working podcast edit and it's going to have the, the consistent properties there. So then all you have to do is repeat the process that we just did for this Katie episode, which is putting in the interview track, doing an intro, doing an outro, and then you're good to go. So having this in place is dramatically going to increase your efficiency when editing your episode and make the process a lot less painful and a lot faster for you, which allows you to put out greater content consistently. And it's that simple. You now have an easy workflow that you can do yourself for free right on your laptop, computer, whatever, right in GarageBand. If you found any of this useful, please take two seconds, smash the like button, helps me out a ton and you get 10 years of good luck from it. So it's a good trade. If you're just starting out your show, I've linked my podcast checklist in the pinned comment. Go check that out. It gives you a quick, easy to follow checklist to make sure that you have everything you need to get going. Once again, my name's Ben and I make all kinds of videos to help you level up your show. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss a future video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions after watching this, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you need to get to me faster, go send me a DM over on Instagram. I get back to those as soon as I can as well. So best of luck with your show. Like I said, I have tons of other videos on my channel to help you level up your show and a few specific recommendations for you are going to be popping up in the end card. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.